Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about competitive programming and software development. And for those who came here for the first time, thanks to the algo. I am Rishi Susladey, a software developer by profession and a learner by heart. Now, uh, I have worked for almost 2 months in the software development industry. For those who don't know, uh, I started my job just up approximately 2 months back at Amazon India. So, trust me, competitive programming is necessary, but it's not the whole thing. So, you get that you can see you can say this is the moral of this video. It's pretty early to give the moral, but yes, this is the moral of this video. The major part of my job is problem solving. So, for sometimes we do need a help of some complex algorithms, data visuals, and all those things. But ninety percent of the time, I do is problem solving. So let's first try to understand what exactly is competitive programming here. Competitive in competitive programming, what we have is you have a question. you have like in short you have the input you have the output you have the constraints and you have to just put in your logic find a solution to that question that's it you are done but in reality it's very much different like we have to do a lot of things in a very different manner firstly we have to frame the questions on our own so that's a very big difference in computer programming you get the question ready made for yourself but here you have to define the problem statement on your own because the in real life world the problems are very much open ended so you have to frame a proper problem statement okay so even if whatever i am getting here i need to put it into work in such a manner that i will get a desired output so you have to frame a firstly a proper question then you have to decide ki what will be your output so in a manner you are only creating your own defining your own problem and then creating a solution for that problem plus uh, it's not just about creating a problem or all those things there are like many other challenging tasks also so how to manage that open ended data and all those things so for these things we do need dsa algorithms uh, competitive programming and logics and all those things but in software development we do a lot more than that most of our work is making apis making fast and efficient scalable systems so you can understand cp is needed but it's not the whole job there's a lot more to software development than computer programming right like what i like to suggest to you for those students who are in college or maybe in your final year and got a placement in a good product based company is to like keep a keep be in touch with competitor or just don't leave it because we do need those skills but at the same time try to learn the following things that i'm mentioning database it's very much important then object oriented programming it's like your day to day work works on object oriented programming system design operating system sometimes you do use those things also then uh, like system then operating systems mm -hmm. design patterns yes how can i forget them design patterns are very much important and 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 if you have enough time don't forget to learn a uh, testing framework so if you are like going into a good product based company it's very much like that you will work on some kind of high level object oriented programming such as c++ or java and they use a good testing testing framework because we are the ones who write the code we are the ones who test the code also so we are a complete package that's why you need to also test your code so that's why if you can learn or get it get a touch about these testing frameworks for java we have junit mockito and all those things so please go through them i am sure it will really help you when you join the job so i guess this gives you a clear idea about what the role of competitive programming in software development it it's required but it's not the whole thing at the end what i like to say there's lot more to software development than just computer programming so thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it if you have liked it don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm sure you will like my other new content and previous content also also if you have any suggestions any ideas queries or doubts 
that you uh, regarding this video do let me in comments if you have any kind of personal queries you can catch up with me on instagram or linkedin i have mentioned the links in the description thanks and have a good day Thank <laughs> you.